All right, hold it up. Pete Maravich of the New Orleans Jazz, in my opinion, one of the great, great gods that ever played the game. So many things he's done from the time he was a little bitty one. To make basketball not only his life, but a part of his hands. Now, you see that little drill he did there? That looks simple, but it has meaning. Everything he does has meaning. What about that drill, Pete? This right here is just for a coordination standpoint of just you spread your legs out, and the object is to throw the ball at a 45-degree angle, catch it behind you, and throw it back with your wrist, getting stronger wrist. This just develops the coordination part of it and leads up to a more dramatic part of a drill, which I call the bullet ricochet. Yeah, but you told me don't bend your knees, right? You don't want to bend your knees. <laughs> you have to get hurt. Because if you do, you open up a pocket under there, and you might end up where you don't want to end up. <laughs> All right, let's see you do it. Okay, this lead, is just this, this is coordination. I watch it very closely. He goes faster and faster. Now it develops into what I call a bullet ricochet, where you just throw it, and you continually increase your speed and continue to increase your hand quickness. You realize the speed that that thing is going? Hold it, Pete. It gets me nervous. Every time he does that, it gets me nervous. Makes me nervous, too. <laughs> All right, let's see a couple others, Pete. This one is what I call the uh, <clears throat> thigh clap. What you do is just stand, throw the ball, catch it, and throw it back. Again, utilizing all your wrists. Now, this looks very simple, but when you don't move your feet, it's very difficult. And you just keep throwing it back until you master this right here. After mastering this, and you go into what I call the thigh clap. What I'm going to do here is throw the ball about five or six feet in the air. I'm going to clap my thighs once, catch it behind my back, twice, and so on up to ten. Go ahead. I'm going to try to get to ten. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. That's how he watches the ball. Six. Seven. Nine. Ten. How do you like that? Now you notice how he watched the ball on that all the time. His wrists, his coordination, his ability to use his hands in any part of his body, it's all important to the game itself. Let's see another one. Okay, a third one that is very uh, difficult, uh, but develops extremely quick hands. And since you have to have quick hands and have knowledge of how to dribble the ball, it's what I call the knee clap. And the object of this is to uh, put the ball behind your knees. I'm going to drop the ball, just drop it, clap my hands in front, and try to catch the ball before it hits the ground. You have to utilize a lot of quickness on this drill. It's, it's almost an emotion drill for me because I have to concentrate a great deal. So I'll try to get this. I'll do this a couple times. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. And all of these drills, don't you feel, had a strong part in you being what you are today? Well, without a doubt, they definitely established what I thought was, uh, you know, a large part of my game, mainly because when I was a junior in high school, I was 5 feet 10 inches. And when I became a senior in high school, I was 6 feet 4 inches. So there was a drastic jump in height. And a lot of kids, they grow up that quickly, get really clumsy. get clumsy, yeah. and do not have the type of coordination they would like to have. In my case, I just blended in very smoothly because of all the drills I had done, because of all the work that my dad had used with me, and uh, it turned out pretty good. Pete Maravich, my opinion, one of the great, great gods in basketball, did not get there by accident. He worked, he trained, he developed. And that's why he's Pete Maravich.